Come on. Times today. There we go. Okay. Right. Geodav here again. Right. This time, what we're going to do is go into NVIDIA's physics lab to create a Apex Destructible. Okay. Click on there. Takes a little while, depending on your system. Now, this gives you a nice little setup. I do advise you to watch any of the, uh, well, any, all of the physics, NVIDIA Physics Lab videos that you can find. Uh, but what they don't show you is a few of the pr little problems that you might get, which is what I'll try to show in these videos. So, just so you know, about physics lab right I am using apex SDK version 1.2.1 beta now for those who don't know if you're going to use this version then you have to make sure you're using the latest version of UDK which is the November 2012 okay if you're using anything before that then you'll have to use the 1.1 version of physics lab apex okay right so what do we do now well first thing we do is we have to import a mesh now which one was it it was that one wasn't it yeah tutorial what zero one so that gives us this now the it's the advantage of having your texture and everything else within your FBX file or your, F your folder where everything is saved. If you don't, then what you have to do is go on to, well, load the texture as a material. That'll give it that. Well, that's not actually that one, but it's the same one. Not, not the same location, but the same one. Anyway. Make sure you've got it here and you apply it. If it's not actually showing, you apply it there as well. Okay, I should have done this earlier. Uh, I did many a times. <laughs> Sorry. Right, so what we're going to do. Right, first thing we're going to do is, well, what we're going to do in this video is actually make two versions of our destructible. Okay, we're going to use a normal slice tool, all right, which is the knife. And here you set the settings. We've got a two, and what I advise to start off with is doing things like seam variation and seam variation degrees. Now, well, in fact, what I'll do, I'll see if I can get this to to show all right we'll just set these both to 25 fracture and as you can just see there's a bit of movement there and with this two funny tool selected hold the left mouse down and it will zap out now if we press f12 this goes into the the playground mode and you get the hammer tool now the idea is when you hit it with a hammer it goes boom and explodes now as you can see here it doesn't now this can be because the way the mesh is made and or the angles now this is one of the pro problems that they don't show you in the NVIDIA videos now I've struggled for the last few days trying to sort this out and the only way you can do it by playing around with these seams variation offset and degrees now I'll set that you play around and just fracture now that actually might work a bit better because I'm looking at the angles here so f12 into playground now you can see bits sliding off there which is not very good. So what you've got, what you really got to do here is just play around. Uh, I'm going to generate a, a seed. Whether that does any different, make any difference, uh, whatever. 
fractured. Go into playground. Now, trust me, I done this earlier this morning today, and it actually worked, which is why I decided to re-record. Oh, you see that? Uh, let me zoom out again. Now that actually worked, believe it or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this one as it is. All right, now, as you can see, well, now what we need to do first. When I open this up, you'll see the inside faces are not very good and the tile and the texture extreme. So what we do in the graphics side where it says here interior material settings uh, I'm going to set these to 30 which gives us a reasonable well it's not going to be fantastic but it's it's reasonable okay and I'm going to export that asset as it is now uh, no, slice now you can see I've done this earlier so we're going to go for number two now the other one that I want to show you is this is only available in the 1.21 version of Apex is this little one switch to Voronoi mode and you think well what does that do well if we go into tools it changes to something a lot simpler uh, you just have a number of slices and fracture. Now you might think this is not very good. Go into playground mode. That's not doing anything. Now th this is one of the... It could be because of the way the mesh is made. E.g. the top's thinner as, thinner, uh, as the bottom. And the way the slices actually go. So all you got to do really is, is keep on playing around these with these figures. See if you can get a, a bit better. I'm not too sure about that, but we'll give it a go. F12. Now we're getting a bit of movement there. But really what you got to do is try and find some sort of setting. Uh, no. To uh, give you in the playground a decent fracture. Well, I went up into 35 if I remember rightly. Yeah, I'm still not too sure down there because of the way they're angled. But uh, we'll give it a go. Right, things are moving but they're not bouncing apart like what you normally expect. So uh, let's just go for Let's see, 27. Just pump, pumping silly numbers. Keep trying to generate fracture. F12. See, that's getting a bit better. Not fantastic. Let's go for 29. F12. Now you see that the only figure I changed was the number of slices. I mean we can go into silly numbers like 48. Might be better because it might give us more smaller ones to play with. Uh, and it's still not exploding as such. Uh, I'm trying to remember what figure that I actually used. Fracture F12. There we go. Not fantastic, All right? But it gives you an idea. So we'll go back in here. Now, as you can see, it's maintained my settings here for the interfaces. Okay, so we're just going to export the asset. V for the 
number two and jobs done right that's all we're going to do in this video so remember if it doesn't work in the playground come back into your your creation bit play around with your figures yeah and just get one that will actually work in the play in the playground and then it should work in game okay then i'll see you in udk very shortly bye bye now